so I'm gonna check the pressure using my gauge for the house. <coughs> See, it's at 100. You can go ahead and just put the kitchen faucet on, please. It's kitchen faucet running at 70 PSI. And then flush that first floor toilet. Yeah. Can you flush the toilet? Mm -hmm. Thank you. See, they have a PRV inside, a pressure reducing valve. It should maintain between 60 and 75. And that's this with the kitchen faucet running and her flushing the first floor toilet. It goes down to pretty much nothing. So, I'll take you inside. All right, so we got the water coming in, valve, PRV, pressure reducing valve, one inch, water meter and shut off valve going to the house. So that's why it's always nice to have a uh, two valves to the house, one after the meter and one before. That way, if any work needs to be done in between here, you don't have to drain the whole house. You got a valve here to shut it off. If you have any change the water meter, or repairs like this so I do have this is a N35B which they don't make anymore watts but they this is the newer one which is pretty much the same thing it should be uh, exact exact fit I have larger ones which but as you can see, there's not much room here without redoing everything. If I have, if I had to cut down here, I would have to have the water company turn off the water at the street. Um, and you can see there's no, you know, there's no place to here. You got a, a street elbow going into a, a uh, one-inch mail. You know, without getting involved in redoing everything and raising everything, um, I was able to locate this and come back the next day. So. Hardest part's gonna be getting these apart. First nut was, I was able to get it off pretty easily. It wasn't that tight. Should be a little bit of water here. Good, nothing major. I had to take this strap off, loosen this up, get some play, but not bad. Got her out. The hardest part is uh is unthreading these and you gotta be very careful. You gotta make sure you hold back always because this is plastic poly coming in. You need to do don't want that to break off or leak and you're running out to the curb and trying to find the curb box and shutting it off is not fun, but you always wanna go outside and at least see it and make sure it's unburied so you can get to it in a rush. Um, what these are designed to do, if people don't know, is if your distance from a pumping station or water plant, they got to increase the volume and the pressure of the water to the neighborhood. Um, so it might be 100 PSI out the, outside coming in, but you house can't, should not be running like that. It should be between 50 and 75 max, more towards like the 50 to 60 is normal. Um, when these go bad, you either get very high pressure or very low pressure or both. So pretty much that's it. I gotta, I'm gonna clean these threads up and get the new one in there. All right, cleaned up the threads with the so regular wire brush. Always want to use Teflon tape. Well, I always use Teflon tape and pipe dope. Probably a little, a little too much there, but that's all right. So. Anyway, time for the new one. Isn't she pretty? Yeah. It's new. See, it's range 25 to 75. You can regulate these with this screw on top set at 50 all right arrow is always going with the flow and then it is also a rubber rubber washer gasket 
Just make sure you get in there. <clears throat> you can't forget about that. Get her on. I always like to put a little bit of uh, pipe dope on the threads. Um, not necessarily inside the flange, but just on the threads. It helps snug it up a little easier. All right, so I still got this off. I'm going to crack this and make sure I don't have any leaks. You don't have to go super tight. You do have to go tight, but not crazy tight. I mean, you can always uh, shut it off and, and tighten it more if it leaks. But if you go to crank these down, it's brass. They will crack on you. And then you SOL. Good. That's my brother calling me. Right, sorry about that. My brother also works for this company. He had a question. So, no leakies. I'm going to open up the house side. See that? Not even any, uh, any movement because if nothing got drained down and the customer's not using anything. <sighs> so let's go outside and make sure pressure's good. See if we have to adjust anything. <coughs> All right. So we're at 45. Okay, go ahead and open the faucet. Kitchen. Staying at 40. Go ahead and flush the toilet, please. I might adjust it a little bit higher. Okay, can you turn off the kitchen? Yeah, when it toilet shuts off, it should go to 50. I'll, I'll boost it up some. It's factory set at 50. It's it's like 45. I'm reading so. Adjust it count, uh, clockwise to increase. Right there. So you have to loosen this. This lock nut. Clockwise, I'll go one full rotation. And then we'll go outside and check it again. And adjust as needed. We're at 55 right off. Down to around 52 with the faucet. Yeah, flush please. Forty-eight flushed. That's pretty good. Okay, you can shut off the faucet. Yeah. Go ahead and shut off the faucet. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. All right, final shot. No leaky leakies. Good to go. So it's around 55 sitting, drops to, I think it was like 50, the faucet are running, and then 50, 48 with the uh, other fixtures and toilet flushed, which is good. Run around that 50, a couple things running. Don't mind my voice, it doesn't always sound like this, um, getting over a cold or something, sore throat. Alright guys, check you later.